So storage in the bathroom is always a problem. So this week I built a uh, towel rack or a support for spare towels and our uh, the drying one. So stay tuned. So for this project I decided to use pallet wood. So before I get to use the pallet wood I had to clean it. Clean the top, the bottom and uh, the both sides. So I square the uh, the edge with the paper saw and I cut the end with the uh, chop saw. I only have f five bar clamps in the shop so what I decided to do is uh, laminate two boards at a time together in one shot. So that saved me a couple days of waiting for a uh, glue to together. At the end of the uh, my boards, making sure they don't slip, I use uh, some small clamps. And then uh, making sure that uh, I remove all the excess glue that's less good. And uh, one last time into the planer, making sure my boards are the right thing. I made my board about 21 inch long, so I separated it in three, so at 7 inches I drew my lines and I used my board for the thickness and I marked them so I can drill my holes at 15 degrees uh, drilled with the press drill. I just need to countersink the holes so that the screw head wouldn't show up. I used the, uh, my shell for cut at 15 degrees, about 7 inch long, and uh, I used another board to against it, so it was all lined up, and pre-drilled my holes, and with a uh, an inch and a half screw, a two inch screw, I just tightened them in place. And again, uh, removed the excess glue, and it was ready for a quick sand. The, uh, the same length. A few months back I made some uh, vinegar and steel wool and this is uh, four days and it completely vanished in the, uh, in the vinegar. So vinegar and steel wool. Um, I don't really see on the camera the big difference but when uh, it's beside you you can actually see uh, like, uh, it darkens and goes uh, to a darkened gray kind of color. So it looks pretty cool. It looks like old wood, and that was the uh, the idea behind it. So if you're interested in seeing uh, the different colors I did, uh, just look back on my videos a few months be uh, before, and then uh, <coughs> put a uh, veritain that's a uh, milky, and it turns a uh, matte uh, matte clear clear matte. So my next step was to install the uh, the hooks. So I'll center it, and uh, I made two holes to uh, to hold the uh, the bracket. And I did a third one is uh, to screw it into the wall, and that's going to be hidden behind the uh, the piece itself. Then I use my Forstner bit to perf the uh, the hole in for my plug. Then it was time to install it in the bathroom. I use anchor, those plastic anchors, they're pretty good. They're good about for 65 pounds. So my shelf had to be dead, uh, dead on because I wanted to install a second one. And now you can see where I uh, pre-drilled before. Install another uh, anchor into the wall. Using my screw that piece on and then uh, I use the uh, the hook to hide my uh, my drill hole and then it was time to hide the uh, my drill hole with a plug so this concludes the uh, the installation of my uh, towel rack that I made for, uh, for our new bathroom. Uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, like my son, give it a thumbs down. Uh, comment and share. Uh, if you would have done it differently, just 
let me uh, know in the comment below. So I'll see you on our next video. Cheers.